So special K is actually a term that is used to refer to ketamine when it's like a drug of abuse. Um, so it's similar in structure to PCP, which is another drug of abuse. Um, so using ketamine for actual medical conditions, so it's really a dissociative anesthetic, um, but using it outside of that world and it for conditions at sub-anesthetic doses, uh, for chronic pain conditions specifically, um, I wouldn't say it's new and upcoming, but it's gaining more and more popularity, um, especially as people are trying to decrease opioids um, and address patients who have side effects from opioids like hyperalgesia or tolerance levels. Um, the benefit of ketamine is that it could potentially make opioids more effective again for patients and reduce uh, consumption of opioids. Ketamine works primary, primarily through N-methyl-D-aspartate or NMDA receptor antagonism and so that decreases glutamate um, transmission and has a role in reducing central sensitization that's a primarily a primary problem with chronic pain conditions and so it's often reversed not as a first-line agent but um, as a medication used for refractory cases so evidence um, supports use in um, chronic pain, cancer pain, neuropathic pain, and complex regional pain, pain syndrome, syndrome or CRPS, which its primary problem is central sensitization. Um, the problem though with the use of ketamine is that there are, it's not a benign medication mm -hmm. and so it has side effects that kind of fall into three different categories, one of them being CNS issues. Um, psychomimetic effects, mm -hmm. um, and then cardiovascular concerns, and then there is some potential for liver injury. So it requires monitoring of those three main areas. Mm -hmm.